This is Spellman's MicroX MicroX HP Demo GUI video. Click the MicroX Demo GUI icon. The license agreement will appear. Select I agree and click continue. Say no to the previous settings dialog box if it appears as we're setting this up for the first time. Communication, DSP, and GUI version tab, the tools icon. Notice the content is grayed out and lacks functionality as we're not connected to the computer yet. Click Connect. The green connected box appears at the bottom. The COM status is shown as connected in green and no faults is displayed in green. The GUI is now connected and controlling the X-ray generator. The filament tab, the light bulb icon. This tab allows you to set the filament limit set point. This is the maximum current the filament power supply will provide to the filament. Pr to protect your X-ray tube, you must confirm from the X-ray tube manufacturer what the maximum rated filament current is. Click the box and it will turn yellow. Type the value in and use Enter to exit. Next is the filament preheat set point. This is the amount of current that flows in the filament circuit when the X-ray generator is not in high voltage. It's typically recommended to set this to some small amount of current to keep the filament warm and prevent thermal shock when the high voltage is enabled. Click the box and it will turn yellow. Type in the value and use Enter to exit. Next is the Set Filament Ramp. Click this box. If enabled, the filament will ramp from the preheat setting to the setting required to provide the emission current you desire when the high voltage is enabled. Click the Filament Ramp Enable box. It will allow you to select how many seconds this ramp will take. Click the Set Filament Ramp data and click X to close. This setting is not required, but it may have benefits like a longer filament lifetime. The two remaining displays are the filament readback in amps and the filament readback in volts. Home tab, the house icon. This tab is where you set the KV set point and the MA set point. Click on the respective box and type in the desired value. Use Enter to exit. KV and MA readback displays are provided to monitor the actual KV and MA when the high voltage is enabled. If you have entered all the appropriate set points and all high voltage and X-ray safety related issues have been addressed, you are ready to enable the high voltage. Click the red high voltage on button. You should hear a relay click, the red button will get brighter, and the yellow high voltage warning symbol will display a high red warning arrowhead. Notice the KV and MA readback displays are showing the actual KV and MA being generated. You are now making x-rays. Click the green high voltage off button. You should hear a relay click and the generation of high voltage and x-rays will cease. When in high voltage off, the filament will idle at the filament preheat set point level. Reporting tab, the paper and magnifying glass icon. This tab shows a variety of operational information. The voltage of the 24 volt DC power supply that's providing power to the X-ray generator is displayed. An auxiliary KV monitor displays the high voltage output. The total number of hours on is displayed and can be reset. Interlock status along with several fault conditions are displayed along with a button that is used to clear any faults. Two temperature monitors are displayed, one showing the high voltage assembly temperature, the other showing the temperature of the system control board. This concludes our MicroX demo GUI video.